Hey guys, this is Brittany. This is my introduction post for EDL 550. Um, I am really excited for this class because I work at a historical institution. I work at Lewisburg College. We are the oldest two-year residential institution in the nation. We've been around for 200, well, over 225 years now. We had that anniversary quite a few years back. Um, so we're over 225 years old. That is older than or before um, when George Washington became president. So an extremely historical institution, one that I very much love as I graduated from there myself. Um, I work there now as the Director of Institutional Effectiveness. Um, that basically means I do a lot of surveys, I do a lot of data validation, and I have been with the UNCW program, the Higher Education Program, um, since last fall. So this is my second summer session. Um, I took two courses um, this past summer session that just ended on Friday. Um, so thankfully got those wrapped up and am really excited about this class. Um, before working as the Director of Institutional Effectiveness at Lewisburg, I worked in the Admissions Department at, as the Campus Guest Coordinator. Um, and basically what that meant is that I helped schedule tours. I helped kind of meet those tour needs for the, the prospective students. So we had a group call one day that wanted um, a tour of over 100 people, which was huge for Lewisburg because we had 700 students annually. So that was a huge, huge deal. And it was really early on in my career with a campus guest coordinator position. Um, and instead of really wanting to get into like applications and kind of the process of applying, they really wanted to know the history of Lewisburg College. So that was a time I really, really could have used more information. Um, I definitely, as a former student ambassador, knew details. I knew when we started. I knew when we got out of transition from being an all-female college to a more male and female into Lewisburg College as it's known today. Um, so I knew kind of the the milestones, but I didn't really know how to frame it. I didn't know you know, any of the minute details, and neither did anyone else really in admissions. We had a center um, that was just starting up at the time that's really running and going well now, the Tar River Center um, for History, but I should know the title better. Um, but I promise it's a really great program. I actually wrote a um, article, <laughs> um, if you believe it or not, in the past um, publication of our I'm alumni magazine, so I do know about it. I do know that it's, it's really well run and well received in the community. Um, and we do have archives in our library, but admissions as far as touring goes really didn't have those resources and didn't have that knowledge base. So that's definitely something we could have used um, and definitely something that I know that we kind of started after that as that center got really established, working more so with them. Um, but it, it definitely would have helped, as the article pointed out, I'm just realizing all of the different, you know, cultural things that change over time. There's a really cool picture that I definitely want to take and show you guys that's hanging up in my old office space in admissions. Um, Lewisburg College has a main building that is um, kind of sandwiched in between two smaller buildings, Davis and Franklin. So you have um, Davis, Maine, and Franklin. And that's kind of like the main image of the college. We're, we're basically on... Um, other side of one street. So we're not a huge institution, but Maine is the main building um, that's always been there and kind of started off the institution. And there's a really cool picture of just Maine standing there. So before Franklin, before Davis were even a thought in anyone's mind, um, there's a picture of Maine and then the Bluesburg College students that were there at the time. And it's really, really cool. It's from when photography was really just starting out. I really have to look at the date and <laughs> really get on these details. Uh, but it's just so interesting, and there's so many questions all the time about, well, why were they able to have children on campus? Were these the children of the, the women there? Were they allowed to have animals on campus because there are animals in the photo? Um, who are these older you know, individuals? Or are they maybe the professors? So a lot of questions and not so many answers. I mean, we're really proud of our history, but me, as far as an individual, just I don't have that knowledge base, and I should, and I definitely look forward to in this class getting kind of that framework going because we have such a deep history to be able to use that framework with. So I'm really, really excited to learn more about the historical aspects, and I'm really excited to learn more from you guys, and I hope you guys have had a great summer. I can't wait to talk to you all soon. Bye.